I'm going to test some new batteries for 2017, uh, the new lithium high voltage batteries, uh, and see how they compare to the existing ones. Uh, just a few words about the new uh, LIHV batteries. Um, as you can see written on here, it says silicon graphene. And there's a bit of information from this company, uh, Intellect IP, new silicon graphene series. Uh, improved cycle time when charged at 1C rates, can be charged at higher C ratings with less risk of damage. The LIHV technology ability to be charged to 4.35 volts per cell, but normal racing regulations allows 4.2, so uh, you can still charge to 4.2. Uh, new shapes, including LCG, um, improved internal resistance when compared to SHVs, which were the super high voltage ones from Intellect that went before, improved for voltage performance at 4.2 volts charging cutoff, exceeds the SHVs, 120C spec. So lots of good claims. Um, this word graphene has been used by Turnergy on one of their batteries. Um, whether it's any graphene inside or not, I doubt it. Um, anyway, LIHV, lithium high voltage, and there is the previous cell, SHV. Now these have been around for a couple of years, and they could also be charged to the higher voltage, uh, 4.35 per cell. Um, so they've changed the name. This says 7.4 volts, so it could be charged higher. These now say 7.6 but I'm going to charge these to 7.4 and compare them to the class leaders that we have at the moment, such as the Phantom and the Aramax. These are rated at 100C, these are rated at 130C, so it'll be interesting to see whether they exceed the performance, either in voltage, uh, under load, or, well, not capacity, you expect them just to be these capacities. Um, one interesting thing uh, to note with this, this, this 6001 is slightly called the LCG, or low center of gravity. It's slightly uh, thinner than the, the big pack, just a little bit. Whereas all these are the full size, just like this one. Weight-wise... Does it add anything being an LIHV battery is a, and the graphene and everything is a pack more in? Well, it doesn't look like it because I weighed, weighed them already. The 6000 only weighs 274 grams compared to the Arrow Max, which is 313. And the Phantom, uh, although it's slightly higher capacity, was 306. And this big 8400 weighs in at 332 grams. So that one is heavier you have to go right up here to this uh this one here the i7800 shv that's 325 grams and 322 grams of the phantom 7800 so it is heavier i'll go through the standard test charging to 4.2 i'm not going to charge the 435 i'm going to just use them as they would be in a touring car competition uh, class and um, do the tests and we'll see if they're better or worse or the same as existing cells um, and then we look at all the results right the first test is the uh, 6000 LIHV straight off the charger ambient temperature Straight off the charger, 7.76 initially, it's dropped a bit, about 7.7 .7, say. The end of charge for the IPLIH V6000. Just under 5,500 
5497 temperature about 32 C and the internal resistance the internal resistance this time it's about 0.49 0 0.48 the results of testing all the new IP Intellect LIHV batteries for 2017. I've run them all through. We've had the um, full size one, an LCG one, uh, two shorties, and a 1S. Um, the blurb says that it, they will outperform the previous SHVs that charged at 4.2 volts. But just looking at the results from the the bigger ones, the 6000 and the 8400, compared to the SHV, which they say should outperform, 7800. Looking over the first part of the uh, discharge, this is at, uh, starts off about 38 amps. Um, the voltage goes from about 7.63 down to 7.24 there and on these we've got uh, 7.63 down to 7.11 and 1 7.18 I tested that one three times to make sure that it was okay and this one the 84 goes from 776 instant drop 771 is what we want down to here 7.24 which is exactly the same as the SHV. It's almost identical. So I can't see um, any improvements at all. And compared to all the other batteries, such as the Aramax, the new Aramax 6200, 7.24, But this is the big one, 332 grams. If you look at the 6,000 against the 6,200 and the 6,000 Aramax 130C, that at 3 ampere hours it's holding 7.2 volts. And this has dropped to 7.18. In fact, the original 7,800 held up. So the Phantom 6.2 and the Aramax 6000 in my testing are still the best ones, the current best ones at this time, 2017. And the new Intel LIHVs test charged the same as the others, not to the high voltage. Um, don't come out any better at all. In fact, the capacitors are a bit down because you can't get the full capacity unless you charge it to the higher voltage. The results of the tests on the two LIHV um, new packs from IP 120 C's charged at uh, 4.2 volt per cell even though you can go to 4.35 so you've got a 5000 and a 6000. Um, I tested them and uh, on the chart here now they say in their blurb that the they exceed the performance of the previous SHVs charged at 4.2 which I have done this is the LIHV tested uh, both of them the 6000 and the 5000 and there is the previous SHV one called the SV1 I believe and we're looking at the first part of the race say from start 300 mil to about 3000 milliamp hours uh, the intellect managed uh, to go from 7.63 along to 711 and the new one goes from 763 along to 711 so it appears to be the, exactly the same battery weight 208 grams 205 so it's increased in weight slightly 
cost-wise, actually it's slightly cheaper than the old one. Um, but it's no better. That the previous intellect shorty at that weight was the um, class leader beating the Arrow Max and the Arrow Max 4.6, but they're slight, very small uh, difference. In fact, the Arrow Max almost as good. But the uh, intellect 7.24, it was 7.24. So it uh, seems like a good shorty, but um, it's no better. The results of the test on the LIHV 8200 120C IP battery 1S. See if it's any better than the previous ones. Um, according to the results, I tested the, the battery twice just to make sure that it didn't need cycling. And uh, these are the ones I've tested before, the Core RC Pro 8000, the Phantom Type R 7800, and, an I and the previous IP, the SHV or Super High Voltage 8000, which has been around a while. All three of these are 100C rating. And we're interested in the voltage, say, the first part of the race, up to about 3 ampere hours. Uh, just look at the weights. Uh, they're all about 150 odd. The new one is 151 grams. The old one was 155, so they're all are, uh, around about the 150 mark. Now, uh, previously, uh, the voltages on all these came out about the same. There's hardly any difference at all between them up to 3 ampere and 4. Um, they all came or maintained almost identical voltages from start to finish. So... Um, there was no, there was no uh, one that you could say was best, so you might as well just choose possibly the cheapest one. Um, this is the new in Intellect one I tested twice. I ran it through twice, and these are the voltages. And you, you can see um, 3.72, 3.65, um, 3.65, 3.59, all the way through. The voltages are, are lower under load, I tested at 0.110, uh, it's about 35 amps, then the, these three, I tested it twice and it didn't get any better, capacity ended up at uh, just over 7,000 milliamps to an 8,200, so the only way you're going to get 8,200 out of this if you charge it to the higher voltage, which would be 4. Um, 4.35 volt cutoff instead of 4.2 so it only just made 7,000 milliamps these other ones for instance the core RC which made 7,650 temperature at the end was was low 32 degrees C and um, but the voltage is what you want in a 1S. The higher the voltage, the quicker you're going to go. Voltage is everything in 1S racing. So I don't see um, their claims that 1S is so much better. Here, here's their claim. It says here that um, it says improved for voltage, perf improved for voltage performance at 4.2 volt charging cutoff, exceeding the SHVs. While the SHV that I tested, it didn't exceed, on, on my test, the, the IP SHV 8000 uh, outperformed the new LIHV 